In South Sudan, many things begin under a tree. And it was under a tree that a small group of women from a village called Loa decided to gather and worship the Lord and study His Word. As the ministry grew, the women took a step of faith and cleared an area in the bush to build a church. By the hands of these women, a large area was cleared of trees and brush and a shaded structure built to hold church services. Soon after, a chaplain from far-reaching ministries was sent to teach the Word of God, and he now remains as the pastor of the church. In Loa, a church has been planted, its beginnings coming through the women's ministry of far-reaching called Rabuna Fi, translated, God is here. Within the far-reaching compound walls is the vibrant, spirit-filled church of Calvary Chapel, Nimili. And while hundreds from the surrounding community come to worship here, today is the day that Rabuna Fi is mounting up to go to the local village of Jeli. As the women and ministry team wandered the paths of the village, they finally settled under a big tree. Being in this small village in the middle of the bush reminded me of the question, what about the African in the middle of the jungle that has never heard about Jesus? Well, today in the village of Jeli, a tiny speck in the vast nation of Sudan, the name of Jesus would be proclaimed. Suddenly, the sound of drums as the women proceeded to dance and sing in the celebration of the Lord. As the music rung through the air of the village, people emerged from their Tukul homes to join in the celebration. Soon there were many gathered under the tree as the dancing and singing continued, some gathering on mats, others at the doors of their tukuls, and still others that joined the women in their dancing and singing. After the time of praise and worship, various women from Rabuna Fi gave their testimonies of how the Lord had worked miraculously in their lives, how Jesus had set them free, been their strength, and continued to be their hope. The testimonies concluded, and the word of God was then taught, and after, an invitation to the people of the village to commit their lives to the Lord. Many came forward that day, and the request from the people was that we would return weekly to teach them more from the word of God. I was so blessed to have seen what the Lord had accomplished under a big tree in Jeli. In Sudan, many things begin under a tree and I am reminded that it was under the tree of Calvary, the cross of Jesus Christ, that his church began. <laughs>